Michael Saylor says Bitcoin could reach this insane number if this happens. Solana breaks another milestone despite the market downturn, and Polygon Labs is cooking up something that could be huge for the space. This is your altcoin buzz news. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcombuzzIO, and as always, not financial advice. I wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. United States inflation data may fuel optimism among Bitcoin traders ahead of an anticipated September rate cut by the Federal Reserve. That is, if inflation lowers as widely expected, according to a crypto analyst. SwiftX lead analyst Pav Hundle says anyone holding short positions is likely to get burned and you could see a classic short squeeze trigger a rally. He anticipates if August inflation tracking consumer price index data comes in low, many investors will start speculating about a larger rate cut next week. For months, analysts and market participants have been speculating that September is the month that the U.S. Federal Reserve will lower interest rates. And on September 4th, this expectation was bolstered when the Fed Chair Jerome Powell said that the time has come. Nick Crypto and X also shared Bitcoin could be about to turn and quick. Per K33 Research, 30-day average per funding rate has gone negative. This has only happened six times before. In all those cases, Bitcoin was up 90 days later. Average 90-day returns were 79%. Is 100K at the end of the year still in play? And Michael Saylor recently gave his Bitcoin price prediction saying this. You know, Bitcoin's 0.1% of the capital in the world right now. I think it's going to go to 7% of the capital. 7%. My long-term forecast is it's going to go to 13 million over 21 years. 13 million. 13 million. But what, what is it five years from now? In your four-year calculus. You know, it's been growing 44% a year so with about a 40 to 50 vol. I would think it'll, it'll move on at uh, 40%, then click down to 35, then 30, then 25. And at some point, it'll be the S&P return plus 8%, and it'll be the S&P vol plus 8% because it's always going to be a more global open free capital market. But even though that's a long-term price prediction, it feels way worse to hold in the short term with the constant crashes. And Michael Saylor responded saying this. It often doesn't act like digital gold in the midst of a missile strike. Yeah, it's the most liquid, fungible, free capital market in the world. Your New York apartment's not fungible. It's not liquid. I can't panic sell it. So when there's a short-term panic, Bitcoin is trading really, Isn't really it hard. supposed to be the opposite? Over the long term, it's up 44% right. a year, every year. And you, can, you either get 12% from the S&P with, right. with VIX vol, or you take 3x the vol to get 44%. So over the long term, if you're an investor, it's going to be great because it's, it's strong capital. Over the near term, if you're a trader, you get lots of arbitrage opportunities. Is it, is it a non-correlated asset people can count on, or is it just a risk-on? You know, risk in the near asset? term, whoever's got the most money can decide whether it correlates not, or non-correlates. It's like, again, it, it, it I can lever it up 20 to 1 on Saturday night, and I can trade it long or short. Solana's blockchain has surpassed previous records for daily network users, according to Artemis XYZ data. Solana recorded the highest number of daily active addresses in blockchain history, despite the fifth largest cryptocurrency revisiting its lows from April and January. Artemis noted that Solana's 24-hour users exceed the $5 million mark on September 10th, while the chain's closest competitor hovered just above 2.5 million daily active addresses on the same day. Solana's active addresses milestone occurred despite decreases in activity in the meme coin sector. Specifically, Pump.Fun has generated fewer fees since its peak in late July. Last week, data confirmed an 80% decline in revenue generated by the meme coin launchpad, and general sole fees and prices have also slumped since July, highlighting a correlation between sole revenue and pumped up fund activity. Although broader crypto prices remain in limbo, pumped up funds regression may signal a declining pattern for Solana meme coins. The protocol was the fastest DeFi platform to reach $100 million in revenue, achieving this milestone in roughly seven months. However, its peak may have passed, as many debate whether the platform was a net positive for cryptocurrency and DeFi. At its height, Pump.Fun allowed developers to launch over 500,000 tokens in a single month. Meme coins flooded sole base exchanges like Radium, turning a few speculative investors into overnight millionaires, or more likely obliterating 99% of capital in seconds. Solana's chain became the meme coin hotbed, and creators like Vitalik Buterin expressed concerns about the trend. Vitalik's worries stem from Pump.Fun's sustainability and the casino-like ethos it promoted. Nevertheless, Pump.Fun remains active, continuing to produce scores of meme coins daily. Analysis found that the oversaturation of meme coin tokens correlated with weak average gains, and less than 1% of meme coin traders earned over $1,000 from the speculative plays. 
Cardano experienced a surge in multiple on-chain metrics in August, amid steady growth in its ecosystem. According to data released by the Cardano Foundation, the network saw an increase in wallet creation, transaction volume, and native token support, marking a notable period of expansion for the blockchain. This update comes only days after the network completed its most anticipated update, the Chang hard fork. Transaction metrics revealed a diverse usage of Cardano's blockchain. A total of 95.9 million transactions were processed during the month, reflecting a minus 1.5% growth from July. This rise highlights Cardano's consistent usage as the network expands. Notably, 31% of the transactions involve smart contracts, further solidifying Cardano's presence in DeFi and dApps. Simple transactions, however, made up nearly half the total activity at 49%, representing the standard peer-to-peer -peer transfers that remain dominant on the network. Also, transactions featuring metadata, but without smart contracts, accounted for 20%. Cardano's user base also saw steady growth in August, with active wallets reaching 4.87 million. This continued rise points to expanding user base as more individuals engage with the network. Additionally, the number of policies governing token issuance on the network grew by 6.5%. These policies ensure proper governance and regulation of assets within Cardano's ecosystem. Polygon Labs is collaborating with crypto hardware manufacturer Fabric Cryptography to bring its verifiable processing units, or VPUs, to the Ag Layer ecosystem. The Ag Layer is an interoperability layer currently under development by Polygon Labs and other core contributors designed to facilitate unified liquidity and security across a network of chains. It uses ZK proofs to ensure that if one chain experiences a failure, it does not impact the funds or operations on others. ZK proofs allow one party to prove to another that a statement is true without revealing the underlying data, enhancing privacy and security in blockchain systems. Polygon Labs and its ZK team have been working with Fabric since the beginning of the year to co-design the Plonky 2 and Plonky 3 libraries, utilizing the VPU's cryptography-focused instruction set. Plonky 2 and Plonky 3 are part of Polygon Labs' suite of ZK proof systems that allows for fast and cost-efficient proof generation, making blockchain transactions more secure and scalable. Fabric claims its VPU is the first custom chip designed exclusively for cryptography processing. Unlike general-purpose hardware like CPUs or GPUs, the VPU is highly programmable and can be repurposed when innovations and proof systems change. ZK proofs have historically been computationally intensive, making them costly and slow to implement. By deploying Fabric's technology, Polygon Labs aims to cut zero-knowledge proof adoption from years to months. Polygon Labs is set to acquire $5 million worth of VPU-based server systems to accelerate ZK proof generation for ZK-powered projects on the Ag layer, including Polygon ZK EVM, Polygon Maiden, and Polygon CDK. Fabric said it's already generated tens of millions worth of customer pre-orders ahead of entering its mass production phase next year. And at the same time, large-scale Matic transfers are on the rise as whales or major investors move significant amounts of Polygon's native token from major exchanges to unknown wallets. Whale Alert reported several substantial transactions, signaling potential market shifts. Binance witnessed two major transfers of 200 million Matic each, totaling roughly $154.3 million to an undisclosed wallet. OKX also saw a notable movement of 30 million Matic that had $11.45 million to an unknown wallet. These huge transfers demonstrate the continued whale trading and potential rebound for Polygon.